Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. News just in, Disney are after releasing their upcoming schedule up to 2027. So we're on this report from CBR.com. Disney maps out new Marvel Star Wars movies through 2027. Disney updated schedule shows their movies lines up from 2023 through 2027 and it's full of Marvel, Pixar, Star Wars and live action remakes. Now, We'll get to the schedule now in a moment. We'll be going through it in full and seeing what is coming out over the next few years and how bleak it looks, how actually just terrible it looks from what they have released. So we're going to pop down here and we'll see. So obviously I don't take what CBR or how they write uh, with a lot of fate. They tend to, um, as I said, be kind of Disney shills and... Star Wars and Marvel and anything under the Disney umbrella, they tend to really like shilling. So what we'll do is we'll go into this and we'll have a look and see what is coming up over the next few years. Now, before we get into it, um, please hit that like and subscribe button if you do like what you heard. If you don't like what you heard, drop a comment down below and let me know. Right, so on to this. Disney plans on keeping up a busy release schedule over the next few years and its updated calendar lays out its near future plans for Marvel Pixar, Star Wars, and other Disney and 20th century movies. Many of the entries here aren't new announcements, although the inclusion of The Boogeyman reflects the recent news that Stephen King horror adaptation is moving from Hulu to a theatrical release in common practice for Disney. The list includes several untitled movies which only specify what franchise they'll be part of. We'll be going more into that once we see the actual schedule. Starting in 2025, and then we'll go in and look at the schedule now now this one here the stephen king horror adaptation the reason why i think this is moving from hulu to a theatrical release is because at the moment disney is losing so much money i think it's 1.5 billion they have lost on streaming so they're trying to claw that money back as as they can obviously i know uh, the CEO was ousted there on a Sunday night there a few months back. I'm sure we all remember that. But that's not what this video is about. What we're going to be discussing is this. So we're going to pop on over here and we're going to have a look at it. So 2023, we can see obviously Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania is coming out. Then under their Searchlight branch, we have a few movies. But I'm going to be more focusing on the Disney and the Marvel stuff. So we obviously have Guardians of the Galaxy 3 which I do believe will be good, like that will be introducing Adam Warlock and everything, and it's obviously the Guardian send-off, to, so to speak, so that should be good. We have the Little Mermaid, um, I'm not going to be seeing that from what I've seen in the trailers. I was never really big into the Little Mermaid as a kid, so I, I don't really have much nostalgic value for it, uh, so to speak. I'll just be kind of ignoring it, I probably won't even end up seeing it. The Boogeyman said this is 20th century Stephen King adaptation. I will probably give that a watch, but when it comes to streaming, I doubt I'll be going to the cinema. Elemental. <clears throat> there is a lot of discussion around this movie, and basically we all know some of the Disney animation that's come out as late has not been good, especially stuff that's come out of Pixar and the Disney Animation Studios. Um, not going to be seeing this. I have not been seeing great things about it. And then on to... Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. So, this movie is, it looks ridiculous. Harrison Ford is in his 70s or 80s. He, he is, wants to be moving into more non-action-packed roles, but he's doing Indiana Jones. Please just let this one go. Let, let Indiana Jones go. Brilliant, brilliant first three movies. Love them. Grew up watching them. But now they're just... They're beating a dead horse with a stick. That That's what they're doing with this one. Just let Indiana Jones go, move on, move away from it. The Marvels, again, no real push to go see this. Uh, I, uh, I, di I didn't like the first Marvel. Um, Samuel Jackson was good. Yeah, Brie Larson, yeah, she did an okay job. Just storyline wasn't really that good. Not really pushed to go see the sequel. That Brie Larson has been squeezed out of the main role and is now sharing the lead roles with two other actors. Haunted Mansion, it's a remake of a remake of a remake. No, 
interest in seeing this either. Um, I don't really know much about it, but yeah, no, it's, it's not on my radar. Now, moving down here, this is where stuff starts getting interested. As you can see, Untitled Disney, we have a lot of these. Now, what Disney tends to do is they tend to try take up release windows. So release windows are taken up basically so they can release their movies or they have slots and then if they can't release it at that time they push it out so a lot of this is just them taking up release windows you see we have a some untitled down here very surprising seeing an, an untitled in 2023 as obviously that would be in post-production at this stage it'd be nearly finished so they should have a title for it now disney snow white didn't even know they were making a new snow white movie that's news to me we'll see captain america new world order that's obviously the new Captain America. I may see it. I may not. I'll I'll see how basically Marvel is playing out going into 2024. See if they've picked up pace. See if they made the storylines more engaging. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I did not know this franchise was still going. Genuinely did not know this franchise was still going. It is it is beyond belief. Uh, I, I I think I've seen a few of them, but wow. Um might be good i'll probably catch up on the latest movies and see if if it interests me in going to see this one inside out 2 my kids loved inside out they they really enjoyed it so i will probably go to the cinema to see this one with my kids because they, they do enjoy going this one has caught my peak mufasa the lion king i'm assuming this is going to be following the story of mufasa um, throughout basically his younger days, the way we had the Sinbad story in the original Lion King. I'm assuming this is going to be Mufasa and his story. Be interesting to see. Thunderbolts, another Marvel movie. Again, don't know much about it. Don't know how good it'll be. More Untitled. And then one that I am going to be keeping a very, very close eye on and will be making videos on, Blade. Now, when I say Blade was a big part of what I watched growing up, I mean it. I had the DVDs of it, watched it all the time, loved Blade, Wesley Snipes, brilliant Blade. So I will be keeping an eye on this one because, as I said, when it comes to intellectual property and big studios ruining it, I hate it. I hate when they ruin the intellectual property and stuff we grew up on watching. So this will be a movie I will be watching. I'm not gonna say if it's gonna be good or bad at the moment, not enough information is out there, but I will be going to see it and I will be watching it and you can expect updates on this channel. Then, of course, we have Untitled Deadpool movie, Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman. Of course, going to go see it. Absolutely. More Untitled at Disney Animation and Avatar 3. So we can expect that in December 2024. That will be interesting. Haven't seen the second one yet, but I will be watching it soon. Now, 2025 is packed, absolutely packed with some Marvel stuff here. So we have the Fantastic Four. Again, don't know too much about it as of yet, but more information will be coming out about it. We have Avengers The Kang Destiny. So this will be like Endgame Part 1. That's what this movie is going to be. We're going to have Endgame Part 1, and then the following year in 2026, essentially Endgame Part 2. So first one will be Avengers The Kang Destiny. Then we're moving on, a lot of untitled Disney, Pixar, again, they don't know what's coming out around here, and here we have Star Wars. We have an untitled Star Wars, I don't know what they're going to be doing it on, no one has information on this project at the moment, but it'll be interesting to see what they are making. I don't know if I'll see it in the cinema, I have not seen a Star Wars movie in the cinema since The Force Awakens, it was when I just stopped going to see them in the cinema, just... What they have done with Star Wars is an absolute disgrace. Then moving on to 2026. Again, a lot of untitled Disney and Pixar here. And as I said, 2026, we have essentially the second part of the Kang Destiny, Secret Wars. So that will be very interesting. And obviously then, again, 2026, December, Avatar 4. So we'll see how that goes. And then 2028. We have Avatar 5 and another untitled Star Wars in 2027. So we'll have to see how this pans out. A lot of untitled there. They don't have titles. I don't think they even know what they're making at this stage. 
Disney is just a production powerhouse. They're just trying to get the movies out there as much as they can. So it'll be interesting to see what comes about of this, what they are. If you have any information, drop it in a comment below if you think what these are going to be. I'd love to hear what you think they're going to be like. Let me know if you're excited for these Star Wars movies. I know I'm not, but I want to hear if you are, and I want to hear why. So drop that comment down below. And then, of course, Avatar. Let me know how you're getting on with the Avatar and the Avengers hype. Now, if you did like what you heard today, hit that like and subscribe button. Helps the channel out immensely. If you didn't like what you heard today, drop a comment down below and let me know why. Love taking on feedback and understanding uh, other people's opinions on this. Until the next one, bye-bye.